On this vote, the ayes are 54, the nays are 45. The nomination of Neil M. Gorsuch of Colorado to be an associate justice of the Supreme Court of the United States is confirmed. And there you have it, Vice President Mike Pence announcing earlier today that President Trump's first Supreme Court pick has been confirmed. So what will Neil Gorsuch mean for the future of the court? Let's discuss it now with an all-star panel, Jamil Jaffer and Carrie Severino. Uh, Jamil, you actually, um, you actually clerked for, for Judge Gorsuch. I want to start with you. Uh, he's going to probably hit the ground running. We've got some key cases already in the docket. How do you see the early part uh, uh, of his term on the Supreme Court going? And, and do you think that will add, there'll be some additional pressure with him to show that independence that he professed during the confirmation process? Well, Charles, thanks for having me. You know, look, I think it's important uh, as a judge that he is independent, and he's shown himself to be independent over 10 years. I think you'll see that on the Supreme Court going forward. And I think you're right. This first uh, term that he's on the bench will be, people will be looking to see what he's going to do. And I think you'll see what you see in the confirmation hearings, a fair, even-handed, independent judge who does the job of judging the way you want it to be done. He's a judge's judge, and, you know, all goes well, he'll be a justice's justice. Carrie, in the era of uh, activist, uh, you know, uh, judicial activism uh, on every level of the legal system, uh, all eyes are going to be on the Supreme Court. And it's said right now that the balance is 4 4 and 1. Uh, do you think that's a right assessment? And, and, and is, is that something that we should, as a nation, be concerned about? Well, I, I, think, I think that's where we were right before Justice Scalia's death. Uh, just a little earlier than a year ago now. And uh, that's where we are now that we have someone like Judge Gorsuch who's going to be able to step into the shoes of Justice Scalia and carry on that legacy. Justice Kennedy's still the swing vote on the court. And in last, in the re least most recent years, he has been increasingly voting with the liberals in the court. Last term, upwards of 90 percent with Elena Kagan and Justice Breyer. So it's, uh, you know, the court actually tilted to the left last term decidedly. We'll see what happens this term. But I do think it'll be very exciting to have a Justice Gorsuch there and to have his uh, voice. We'll get to hear him in just a week or so when he starts hearing cases. I, I couldn't be more pleased with the outcome of this. And, you know, kudos to President Trump for picking such a qualified nominee. And, and to Leader McConnell for really helping shepherd this through the Senate. Yeah, there's no doubt that uh, President Trump lived up to his promise. Uh, uh, and, in fact, uh, this is as excited as I've seen the Republican Party across the board, to be quite frank with you, since the inauguration. Real quick, Kerry, before I get back to Jamil, you, 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 you ex you're ex explaining how thrilled you are by this. Share with us why. Why do you think this will make such a difference? Why is Gorsuch the man at the moment, and why was it so critical that he, that he was able to make it to the court? Well, this was one of the president's most important campaign promises. It's, I think, the reason he was elected. You looked at the exit polls. More than a fifth of Americans said that this was the number one reason they went to the polls, is the next Supreme Court justice, and the vast majority of those voted for President Trump. So making good on that is so important. This is someone who will be on the court for decades to come. The executive orders, as we know now, are, are gone pretty quickly. The regulations, the laws even, like Obamacare, you know, this is on the chopping block. But the, the nominees to the Supreme Court will be interpreting the Constitution and American law for, for a generation. And that's what uh, Gorsuch will offer us. It's so good to have someone who's going to be faithful to that law. Uh, the uh, president's travel moratorium, Jamil, uh, probably comes to the Supreme Court fairly quickly. Any, any ideas, any way of handicapping that for us? You know, Charles, honestly, no idea, and I'll tell you why. Because Judge Gorsuch is going to look at the law and see what it says. He's going to look at the applicable precedents and apply them fairly and even-handedly. This is a guy who's not going to come in with a predisposed notion of the way it should go. He's going to do his job the way it should be done. 